Well, I was gonna come down and do a little bit of digging. Go check out the river. Usually right behind me, closer to the bank, isn't even flowing. Quite a bit of water. Let's go check it out and see what we can do. If you look up in the sky up there, it's gonna be... So now right there, that's usually all dry. It's a dry riverbed, I've walked up it. But right now, it's taking that corner and it's coming this way. There's a little low pressure point there that swirls and then goes down. And then all these trees right behind them, there's little eddies. And when it's really flooding, that middle in there, that big pile of dead trees right there, behind it, builds up. spot I was working last time is completely underwater right here, the bank spot. You can see on the other side there, there's a little dead area there. So I can next time I'll know that. And plus up there I can see that where it's raging a little bit there. I can see where the low pressure points are now. You can see all the grass is down. The water was up here not long ago. So I'm probably not going to cross. It's pretty deep. Especially to bring the dog over. So the apartment doesn't look like I'm gonna get anything done. Let's go over and check the bedrock out anyway. See where it's flowing and where it's stopping. It's a big back eddy right over there. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Yeah, I better go. now when the sun's out the water level has dropped quite a bit it was up in that high bar there been trying to get away from the rain all day now it's not raining here so back to the spot well, one of my favorite spots back in New England was Couch Brook if you see up there on top of the hill there in the middle that's Couch this is why I like coming here even though there's a lot of water, you get to see what's going on a lot more. Now, where I got all those little pickers out of, is right in this line right here. Where well, water comes around this bend and it comes straight through here. The water's actually going that way, and this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way. If you look through there. And all those little ripples that I cleaned out, and look what it's doing. It goes like this. The water's actually going that way. So in flood, it comes around this corner. And it's coming right up into here. And as you get this swirl right here, obviously. And then when it's really heavy, it's swirling right here, probably. And all this material is all gone. There's material sitting on this. This is right where I found that snake. It's the couch out in the middle of the dredge piles. Well, the hand stack piles, I should say. Giddy is having a little big snap. That is a Cheetos. Well, Mark was coming over to do his pan. And looking on the bedrock. And right there is a piece of gold. Alright, pick it out, Mark. Well, I can see it really good now that the sun's shining. It's 
有地震。This Mark's gold rush for the day because that's what you got. You want a couple of pan, a little bit of panning around. I didn't get much more than that piece today. Found right there. can just pick gold off of bedrock. Mark proves it all the time. But uh, I haven't found gold just sitting there when I'm relaxing. I went down to sit down and found a little bit of gold in the bedrock, which was cool. And I've heard of this before, other people doing it. And uh, up in Vermont, there was a guy that was sitting there on bedrock all day. Somebody came up behind him and found a piece of gold after him. So always look where you put your equipment. Um, you know, chances are there might be something sitting there for you. Well, I guess the rule of thumb is check near your backpack for gold on bedrock.
<laughs> rock fishing. Huge uh, gear drive for a dredge. It's on the other bucket line uh, where the lines went over is on the other side of the park. This one here is at the bottom of the bucket line. This is where the bottom of the buckets drag up and over. This is the one that's always fallen off on Tony Beats' dredge. I mean, that's a big opinion there. So what I think's going on in this park is, just like the other parks that I visited down in the southern part of the state, is they were all dredged, and this would have been all mounds of tailings piles everywhere, like the one that I metal detected. And this one they just flattened out and made it into a park, because it's a city. This was probably stuff that they found when they were digging up the area. That thing was probably worn out and they probably left it behind.